Hello viewers, welcome back. So today we will speak about OverUnity and this time I'm going to show you the OverUnity motor generator by Alex Horng. The patent is actually called a uh, motor with power generating coil set and that would be the correct name I would say but OverUnity motor generator would mean the same meaning. Yeah. On my left side you can see the image of this beautiful uh, coil set and uh, now I will show you briefly uh, how this patent looks like in front of my face yeah? so it's really an interesting design and it's very simple so motor and generator in the compact design that we use a motor uh, to uh, let's say spin the rotor and then we use the uh, force of inertia to spin the to use it on the generator on the pickup coil set so that's that's the case in the end yeah so you will see that it's it's really interesting so now you can see a short animation before me and this is the animation uh, of this beautiful amazing generator with see through that you can see without and you can see that uh, yeah i i will have to explain on the big screen on the left what is going on there but it's really, really simple and I like this design. There are several such motor generators on my YouTube channel, you can search for them, but this one had, had caught my eye. So let's get now to the big screen and explain why is it so interesting. Okay, so this is the deal. So now you can see that this, this blue outside which is spinning, it's the rotor. And on the rotor are some somehow fixed those permanent magnets, yeah? so, and uh, each second is with a different uh, magnetic pole, yeah? Uh, yeah? so it's set in this way. And why is it so? On this coil, on the staplers, you see them, many of them, uh, they are arranged each different so that we can get alternate current output yeah? on, on, the, on it. Yeah? So the, let's say, the primary coil and the secondary coil. So how would this work? So how did this inventor think that we can get over unity in such a system? So it's very, very simple. For example, this inner set of coils would be our motor coils. So we would, uh, let's just wait for a moment that it turns around. So we would lead the current through this in internal coils, internal coil cell, coil set, and then uh, we would, uh, let's say, move these magnets so that the rotor, complete rotor set can spin. So this is how motor works, every motor, every electrical motor. And then, as we see that we have on the outside coil, the, the, let's say with the bigger uh, circumference, yeah, uh, we have also the set of magnets and more coils. And this would be, that would be our pickup coil. And the pickup coil would be used as a generator. So, uh, on this, uh, let's say, inner side would be a motor, and on this outer side, so this uh, with more circumference, would be our pickup coil or generator. So, uh, the, the idea is simple. So, the energy which we take to, to spin uh, this, uh, we, we, we spend on these coils to rotate and uh, to move these magnets would be uh, much less or, or at least a little bit less than the energy produced by these permanent magnets on these secondary coils and that would produce overunity. So this is how any overunity motor generator should work. And what can I say? Do I believe this works? Not really, because uh, we have the... Uh, but it might work, because there is in some patent it's called inertia constant generator. So because this is a huge now let's say imagine this is a very very big uh, motor and uh, it has let's say almost perfect bearings on, on this main shaft where it's spinning. Yeah, and uh, because we would let's say speed up this motor to turn uh, and this huge wheel would have some inertia. So inertia is the let's say potential energy or kinetic energy available uh, on, on this uh, rotor so that when we activate those secondary coils which pick up the electric current uh, 
it, the system wouldn't stop so easily because we have already a momentum and the force created by the spinning of, of the motor. So, yeah, it's really hard to say. We would have to check to see if this can work in reality, but basically this is how every Unity motor generator works. Well, what can I say about this motor with power generating coil? So this is how every uh, of Unity motor generator should look like. At least this is the very simple design where you have a huge rotor on which you have the primary coils, which is the motor, and the secondary coil, which is the pickup coil, and or it is generator. So this is very very simple design, and uh, it should create over Unity at least uh, on the minimum uh, basis because of this force of inertia which is created by uh, kinetic energy while the rotor is spinning. So this is my conclusion. You, can, you have in the in description below, you have a, a link to the patent, you can read it, you can uh, search uh, more about this of Unity motor generators which have primary and secondary coil and what is the difference between them. But until then, give your like for the video, give, uh, share this video on many platforms as you can to spread the community and if anyhow possible, support my work via PayPal on the homepage. So thank you for watching, until next video, stay tuned on my channel.